Hello, it's Craig Wilkie, and this is a video that explains about the Atmos drive. Now, the Atmos drive is at real our equivalent of the of a public drive or a shared drive, which you might have used in a school or another business or organisation that you might have worked in before you've started work at real and this video is very much for new starters but also it's quite a good idea isn't it to, to have a bit of a refresh after a while so the concept of this video is to remind current staff about how to access our shared drive which we call atmos so i'm going to show you how to do that you go to any real education website on our more modern designed websites you scroll to the far bottom of the website and you click on atmos which is down here after you've clicked on Atmos, you're then prompted to move into the Staff Hub, and then the first icon that you find right at the top of the page is Atmos Drive. You click Atmos Drive, and then you're taken into this view, which shows you and it loads all the folders in real learning. This is what we call our root folder, and all of the information that you should need will be available from real learning. Now, real learning is um, a controlled environment whereby no users can just decide they want to add folders to this. If you want to add a folder to real learning, you have to raise an IT help ticket through Service Desk, and then we'll talk to the directors and the leadership team, and then we'll decide to put that folder in and give you access to put things into it for your area, your project, the subject you lead, for example. So what you're looking at here are all the key folders um, that are in use across real education and um, each one is controlled and managed by the subject lead or the project lead for that particular area. So for example if we look into the Key Stage 2 and Key Stage 3 curriculum all of these um, folders have been really easily um, well organized and easily navigatable because they've been they're, they're using really clear terms it's easy to use and easy to see if you do find that for example you go into a folder and you're not looking and finding for the, th the thing that you want the best thing to do is make contact with that person uh, that leads and manages that curriculum area and explain to them what you're looking for and that will help them to maybe adjust some of the things that they want to put in that folder um, and to make sure that their folder contains the stuff that you're looking for there's also quite a handy um, document in real learning called contents of real learning and if you go into contents of real learning it takes you through how to get to real learning so it's quite a nice thing just to print out and keep if you've got new new starters that forget how to get to real learning through website staff hub atmos drive button but what it also does is it is it identifies all of the folders that are available in real learning and it identifies the responsible person that's looking after that folder so that's always a really helpful sort of contents page to remind yourself who manages that particular folder and that can be updated by um, logging a service desk ticket through realservicedesk.co.uk or using our ICT service desk and we can update that document for you. Most staff have read-only access to that. We're often asked, um, and we're getting near the end of the video now, but we're often asked and told the, the drive looks messy. It feels messy, it feels a little bit chaotic. The reason that people feel that is when they're in their emails, as I am now, they go to the waffle and they click Google Drive. I'll just move my page over so you can see that. They click Google Drive here and they're thrown into a different view of Atmos, which is not real learning. And I absolutely agree. This view is messy. It's a complete mess. And that's because the, the user hasn't gone through that process of the real education website, click on Atmos, then the staff hub, click on the blue Atmos tile, and that gives you that view that is really organized and structured um, and easy to navigate. So I just hope this short video has given you an overview of how to access the Atmos drive. Don't forget, as well as going through this sort of um, structure, you know, a simple um, search for resources, for example, I might be teaching fractions today, a simple search for resources like this, and perhaps using this grid view over here, produces a, a search return of thousands, possibly, resources in one particular area, or certainly hundreds anyway, I might exaggerate there. So, um, 
you've got two ways of going through it. You've got your search, like you would in just google.co.uk, but of course you're searching quality resources that have put, been put there by colleagues. And then you've also got that real learning, structured approach to managing the organisation. I hope that's been helpful for you. And um, I hope that you've, um, you'll be able to navigate and find the resources you need much more easily now. We're going to put an article on the drive that also explains this as well, something for you to print out or point colleagues to. And we do in full um, sort of go over this. Um, at induction so hopefully new staff will be more and more confident to use um, to use this system thanks for listening